Hello everyone, welcome back to Genial Basis. Uh, today's topic is about the protein folding. Uh, this is called the multi-gluvial state. So, this is a part C question of Caesar net life senses. So, the question is thermodynamics of protein folding is depicted as a free energy funnel below. So, one diagram is given that is the free energy funnel. <coughs> so, in this box, it gives below our reason in the diagram column X that is A, B, C, D given and the representative column Y. So, in the diagram, it is mentioned A, B, C, and D, right? So, you need to find the exact match. So, first, let me tell about the molten global state. So, protein folding is very complicated process. So, in this process, first, the unfolding protein, it undergoes some collapse stage and then it becomes the molten globule then it becomes the naive stage that is the folded form so mostly three forms first the unfolded state where the entropy is more then b is the collapse stage that is the molten globule state then d is the naive structure so let's first see the diagram so this is the beginning of the helix formation and collapse <clears throat> so in first your protein is in the unfolded form so here the entropy is more once the protein get the folding at first there will be a hydrophobic collapse so it <coughs> it forms the molten global state so the molten global state is generally the intermediate of the folding state so after the molten global state you will get the discrete flow folding intermediates and then the native, native structure so <coughs> This is the note of molten globule from my blog dnaobiosems.blogspot.in So molten globule state it is an intermediate state as I already told it is the intermediate state and the protein folding pathway so first the unfolded protein then it will undergo one collapse hydrophobic collapse model that is the molten globule state then the as you can see in this picture the discrete folding intermediates will form and at last the nape deep protein that is the folded protein will form so generally the <coughs> protein folding pathway it follows one model that is hydrophobic collapse model so that hydrophobic collapse model is called the molten global state why it is called the collapse model it is called as collapse stage or the model as the protein folding is initiated by a spontaneous collapse on the unfolded state into a globular state so there will be a change from the unfolded state into a globular state and that mediated by the hydrophobic interactions and this process is very fast it hardly takes millisecond so let's see what are the properties of the molten globule first it has most of the secondary structure in its native form so in that structure we'll get mostly the secondary form secondary protein structure and it is very less compact it lacks proper packing interaction in the interior of protein and the interior side remain mobile just like liquids and 
you can measure it by the circular diagram that is CD and NMR that is nuclear magnetic resonance. We'll discuss about the CD and NMR in details later on. Just remember two things C by CD and NMR we can measure and it has a very slow fluctuating tertiary structure. So let's back to this question. So in first option it's given A is 1 that is A is 2 that is the structure with highest entropy. Next B is 3 that is the molten global state. C is 4 that is discrete folding intermediates and D is 1 that is the native structure. Okay, let's see the other options. In option 2, A is 1. A is 1, the native structure. No, it's wrong because in this the entropy is more and it is the unfolded protein. So, by this you can exclude option 2. Next option 3 is A is 2. Correct. Structure with highest entropy. Plus B is 4. B is 4 discrete folding intermediate. No. B is the molten global state. That is the intermediate between folding and non-folding state. And in this state you will get the secondary structures. So in this way you can exclude the option 3. Then next is option 4. A is 4. A4 means discrete folding intermediates. No. That will be C. Because after the molten global state, we'll get the discrete folding intermediates, then we'll get the native structure. So, <coughs> the first option will be right. A is 2, that structure with highest entropy, that is the unfolded protein. Uh, then B is 3, B is 3, that is the molten global state. Then C is 4, C is the discrete folding intermediates will get. Then D is 1, that is the native structure. So the answer of this partial question is 1. So just need to remember one small thing that molten global state is the intermediate stage. That means will the molten global will be, it will be either B or C, right? And A, it always the unfolded protein and the unfolded protein structure, it has highest entropy. So no doubt A will be structure with highest entropy. B will be molten global, C will be the discrete folding intermediates and D will be the native structure. So let me summarize the properties of molten global state once again. So molten global state it is an intermediate stage uh, between the unfolded protein and the folded protein. So the and the protein folding pathway it consists of a hydrophobic collapse model and why it is called collapse model? This is called collapse model because the unfolding state it undergoes a spontaneous collapse reaction and it the unfolded state give rise to a globular state and this reaction is mediated by the hydrophobic interactions and this reaction is very fast so let's come to the properties as i have already mentioned the multi-global state it generally consists of the secondary structure most of the secondary structure will get and it is least compact and it lacks proper packing interactions in the interior of the protein and the interior side remain mobile just like liquids and it can be measured by CD circular diagram and an MR nuclear magnetic resonance and it has a slow fluctuating tertiary structure so three things you need to remember first the unfolded protein consists of more entropy right 
and molecular probate state is the intermediate state between the unfolded protein and the protein folding molecular probate state it formed after the hydrophobic collapsed then third thing you need to remember is most of the structures will get in the molten globule that is the protein secondary structures these three things you need to remember so this is all about the molten globule state and the free energy fauna i hope it this will help you if you like this video hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe this channel thank you